All right, so we have, uh, we're gonna have modern day, you know, current day, uh, Kendo Miyahara Katsuki Nakajima against, uh, that Kings of Wrestling era from, you know, the late, uh, 2000s of, uh, Chris Hero and Claudio Castagnoli. Uh, you know, we've done this many of times in the Noah series of, uh, oh, uh the TW Noah series, and to be able to see how it would look like if we took modern day Katsuki Nakajima, modern day Kendo Miyahara against Hero and Claudio. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully, you know, it's a lot of fun. Let's, uh, let's get right into it. So again, you know, we're gonna hear those, that, uh, weird little techno music, I'm sure. For, uh, for this one, but, uh, yeah, I mean, we're, uh, we're almost at the halfway point of this card. The, it would be very cool if they were able to team again. I don't know exactly where that, or when that would be able to take place, but that would be a lot of fun. To see what they could do like now. Cause it'd be fucking crazy. So <laughs> Nagajima. Got his little pose. As I yeah, well, this uh, you know, Kings of Wrestling edits. I mean they're pretty good. I I, I think they're pretty solid. Obviously in the face, they don't have like a, a custom face where it, you know, actually looks like Hero and Claudia, but you know, they they got the you know, the, the tire down, and that works for me. Here's is definitely a little bit better than Claudio's. Claudio's, you can just tell, even from uh, a distance. You got Kento and Chris Hero starting it off. Especially like this era of Chris. Uh, Chris uh, he was so awesome during this time. I mean, he still is really awesome, and I'm excited to see what he can do once he... Takes another run and another indie run here, especially now that Claudio's gone. Like that, that'd be so cool if they're able to redo a Kings of Wrestling run. Nice little chop. Nice right, so far. It's been all Chris here. I know we're only 30 seconds in, but after uh, Miyahara was starting off a little hot, but then just hero size, which I think would definitely play into a, a big factor, I think, in their matches. Oh, nice little running, shining wizard. Into the corner. Uh, but yeah, because Kidamihara usually has better matches against guys that are bigger than him. Just he, he's great at the natural kind of underdog role. A lot of the psychology there. It just makes sense. Yeah, Claudio and Kenta, I mean, or Kento Miara, a match that I just didn't know I needed until that Noah's here. So I was like, that would be pretty fucking awesome. I was get a figure four choke. Uh, they got now Katsuki Nakajima and Claudio. Another match. I mean, it's like, that would be pretty fucking awesome. Because Claudio, I mean, he'd just be so fucking big compared to what, you know, because he's. You don't really understand how big, like, Claudio is until, like, he's, he's in there with actual, like, not, like, giant human beings. Uh, when he's just the normal-sized humans in there. Like, then he's, he looks like a, a horse. As, but that's, uh... He's, he's someone that I don't think, you know, he could have... Obviously, he's one of the greatest bases of all time when it comes to, like, Lucha guys. Like, if he would be in there. But someone that actually, like... Strike with them, though, that would be pretty interesting. Like, strong style Claudio would be pretty unique. It's like him and Morishima had great matches. It's like, yeah, he could probably have, like, a great match with a smaller guy, too. That worked a, a pretty stiff style. Pretty, you know, fast tags in and out. Again, with these side headlocks. That must not be a, uh... I guess it could be a workshop. Uh, a little move. So let's, oh, uh, <laughs> not sure exactly what uh, Nakajima was going for, but well, it was quick to get out of there. Some European uppercuts. Lifters, if you will. Oh, Claudio eating his body kick. There we go. A couple of them. Fourth one finally takes him down. And Demirha back in. Shop. Oh, 
Yeah, cause I'm, I mean, I'm sure once, you know, Claudio is able to, to work elsewhere, I'm sure he's not gonna go to Japan, even though that would be very cool. Just for, from that perspective, but I, I just, I don't think he would. He, he, you know, he figured he's just gonna go to AEW. It, it makes sense, but even though AEW's got like a thousand guys over there, it's Claudio Castagnoli. <laughs> Oh, they got you should sign. What a fucking suplex, though. Jesus. I mean, that was all apron. Okay, we're bouncing back in now. Yeah, a little mistimed on the Irish whip. Looks like I'm gonna try to tag in Hero again. It's gonna be interesting once we get out of the tags of uh, this card. Once we get into, like, the singles matches, which, I mean, should be coming up next. As, uh, you know, we'll have one more tag match after this, but that's not till a little later down on the card. What's, uh, Kazumi Ahara gonna do now back in the corner? A couple of shots. We'll go behind again, gets stopped. Is that only gonna trade some shots? Kazumi Ahara getting the best of that one. Back in comes Nakajima. Oh, oh, it's a pin. I get it now. Yeah, it's a little pin. Oh, ankle lock for Nakajima. See if Hero can get to the ropes. I'm just gonna get out of it. And back into comes Claudio. Five minutes gone. Nakajima, Nakajima, rather gets a uh, shot for the troubles there against Chris Here, a couple of. Kicks down, oh my god. Oh, just kicking the shit out of him. I love it. Dragon screw leg whip, though. Oh, nice little amateur wrestling style takedown, but Claudio just powers out of it. Another uppercut. Oh, now we're gonna trade uppercuts and body shots. See if a body kick's gonna lay him down. Oh no, the uppercut. Gets the win in exchange. It's Claudio now. Nice little vertical suplex. Not exactly sure what he's going for there after uh, the vertical suplex. Looked like he was trying to go to the outside of the ring, but... Nakajima again with the body kicks. <laughs> Get the Miara fired up. Oh, just a uh, disrespect. Oh, the cravat! Hell yeah! Big pop. Oh, no. Gut wrench suplex. Now, hero back in. Now, headbutt from Gendomiro. Single leg crab that's in the ropes. Not like it matters. It's tough. I don't know what would be the best singles match, you know, because really. Uh, Chris Hero and uh, Kendo Miyahara does sound awesome. What a great counter, though. From Kendo Miyahara, that gets a one count. It's definitely like if you could take, like, prime or current day. I think a, a prime Chris Hero, prime Kendo Miyahara match would probably be the best, but it's tough because, I mean, Claudio and, and Kendo Miyahara would also be great. It, it, that's a tough one. Tough one to call. Now, oh, Hero again trying to tag in Claudio. Love how I gave the time limit like, you know, 45 minutes and 60 minutes, and we haven't even gotten out of like 20 minutes of any of the matches. So, that Claudio with a body slam. Let's see what he goes for next. Sick! <laughs> oh, and he's gonna cover him. Somehow not a rope break. We must have turned off rope breaks. Might have to turn those back on. Because I think we turned them off for the uh, death match. Yeah, Three, that's probably what it was. Oh, up European Africa combination five, from Claudio. Six, seven, Please not a double count out again. Another gut ridden nine, suplex though. Yeah, hey, Claudio's ten, get back in. 11. Perfect. Huh. Oh, what a shot though from Nakajima. Oh, again. Yeah, that's such an awesome move. And he's gonna just, again, with a nonchalant cover. Doesn't need to hook the leg. Definitely needs to if he's gonna... Oh, Ricola Bomb! 
sick. I'm gonna cover him. He's in the King's Wrestling Corner. I guess it doesn't matter. Just give to me a heart. I just know he's gonna kick out of two, I guess. Both guys gonna tag out. Oh shit! Oh, blackout! Not gonna cover him, though. Alright. I. Sure. <laughs> uh, trading shots. Get to me a hard again, winning in the exchange, but he collapses. Love the lighting rig. In the uh, in the shot, counter from Miyahara. See what Miyahara's gonna do. Uh, guess here back in control, right dragging him back into the King's Wrestling Corner. It's the uh, the psychology there on display. King's Wrestling side off the ropes. A fun little chop where the guy goes flying. Jesus, so these into a out of a clinch. Chris Hero. Oh, headbutt back into the blackout. Again, no cover. Come on, get to me hard. Whoever put ever, whoever put together this edit. Get your logic in check. And comes Claudio again. Into the corner again. Shoulder blocks. I wonder if he's got the UFO. Oh, what a triangle choke from Kinda Mirror. That was awesome as well. Sucked into a guard. Thought Claudio was going to powerbomb out of it for a second. I was like, wait a minute, that's not an escape. That's not a thing. Yeah, Kinda Mirror. Trying to tag in Katsuki Nakajima, who's sitting there posing. Another gut wrench suplex. I'm waiting for him to do the Carlin lift where he like, deadlifts him off of it. I, I, I want to say now I'm thinking about it. I think it's the announce, like the uh, the ringside announcer girl that's like audible-ing, counting, so that's why you don't hear red shoes. That's what I'm going to go with. For continuity reasons. Trio won't drop kick into the dick. Love that. I mean, also, that, that cover suplex, we've seen it a lot, but it's, it's effective. Off the ropes goes Hero now. Akajima, that was... Fantastic. I mean, tremendous job, whoever did this. Oh, it vertical, vertical spike. Yeah, I mean, whoever did that edit, great job. A thousand out of ten. I mean, that's as close to Katsuki Nakajima as we're going to get to it just being real life him. Again, with a two count, not even a 2.9 out of the, after the uh, vertical spike. Oh, I thought it was going to be a... Uh, Mafia kick or a discus kick or uh, not discus kick or a discus clothesline or something or even an elbow, but nothing. El Quadio now with a huge Saito suplex. See what Mihara's gonna do now. Another give that suplex where he just throws the dude on the apron. One, two, Poor Claudio, what a pose. Get the Mihara tell him to bring it. Oh, Nakajima's got him in place. I'm fucking. Blackout. Oh, Swiss death! Perfect! Nakajima's not gonna break it up, I guess. Has too much faith to get the mirror on. Another two count. Boy, we got a we got a good match here. We got a good match here. With Claudio again with the fucking Kedrick suplex back into the center of the ring. So Looking for something. Now, what a backslide counter, though, from Claudio. Let's see if he could steal one. Oh, he just about did. Caught the uh, body kick again. Near the dragon screw. I, well, it's the first time he's done that, actually. <laughs> oh, I said it again. Holy shit. I didn't think he was going to be able to pick him up with it, but he's got the cover. This kid in our stares into our eyes deeply. Chris here just kicks out. Oh, they're going to trade strikes again. Holy shit. A fighting spirit. Just a front kick. Nakajima back in. Oh, looking for that vertical spike again. Oh, that's gotta be it. Claudio should probably break this up. I respect it. He's not going to. And again. He should probably hook the leg there. Katsuka Nakajima. That'd be awesome if he stole it. <laughs> if Hero does the vertical spike instead. Oh, Jesus, though, the combinations. 
lightning speed, those fucking palm strikes. Oh my god, Jesus! I was waiting for him to do that. He kept on teasing it with all these suplexes. I was like, he's gonna do the fucking... The, uh, the, the fall away suplex. Or just the uh, crash landing another vertical spike, but he's probably gonna go to the floor there. Which, that's tough. One, taking a vertical two, spike on the apron. Three, four, I mean, just to get that five, animation, like, that's... That would be something seven, that Nakajima would do. Eight, just crazy. Nine, a lot of talented ten, motherfuckers. Oh, there it was! The spinning fucking... 12, mafia kick. Tremendous. In comes Claudio now. So far, this has been my favorite match of the, uh... Of the show. This has been tremendous. So Nakajima now. Oh, the fucking... Head kick. He's out. Let's see what's gonna happen next. Oh, it's Claudio. Oh, black out. Cover him. Man. Oh, there, there it is again. Can he finally cover him? No, he won't. <laughs> oh my god. How many times? How many fucking times? Another one. We might have to edit it as far as... Or we can find a better edit. Because, I mean, he should definitely be pitting them after these blackouts, but... Alas. Oh, giant swing! Everybody getting their shit in. Oh, we can be our right back up. Oh, shit. Holy hell. So I'm not exactly sure. Oh, my. Then Kingdom Mirage up first. Oh, tagging in Hero again. Oh, what in the world? Oh, my God. Well, logistically speaking, obviously that would be instant death. Oh, he's got it. The deadlift one. He's got to do that in the ring. Because, I mean, he... he, he <laughs> Doing that on the apron, that would be very awesome. But doing it in the by the post too. Oh boy, get back in the ring, get the mirror. Oh, we might get a count out. Okay, now here's back up. Gets in at 18. Back in comes Nakajima. Oh, just a big boot. Bringing in Claudio again. Wow, it's a 20 minute mark. Oh, what a fucking. It was awesome. I was gonna catch that body kick like he did with uh, Kendamir Ara, but Nakajima follows it up. More uppercuts. Huh. Little form shot. Snapmare. Just keeping him in the King's Wrestling Corner. I guess it doesn't really matter since no one came in to try to break up a pinfall. Body kicks again. Huh. Jesus, what a super kick. Oh, that was. That was about to be all she wrote, if that would have connected. Oh, hey. Went back behind. Oh, gut wrench suplex. See what Claudio could do. If he could go for that Swiss death again. That uh, very, very European uppercut. That might be the deciding factor here. Oh, and again. The, just, uh, Nakajima. Always being one step ahead of uh, who's, whoever uh, is in there. Whether it's a hero or Claudio. Waiting to see what, uh, if Hero can do the death blow or something. I'm well, back into the corner. I'm well, back into the corner for Nakajima now. I'm oh, just gonna attack. I thought he was gonna do, uh, like corner to corner. Just, uh, a running big, another cravat. Oh, into the suplex, way to go! Hell yeah! Then he taps out! Chris Hero, Kings of Wrestling, get the win! Hell yeah! Yeah, we gotta do on the, uh, on one of these shows, not sure when, but we gotta do Yuji Hino and Morishima and do the Muscle Bombers against Kings of Wrestling. That was 100. Yeah, that was pretty fun. It was a lot of fun. And so, yeah, now, uh, we go on to our next matchup of Jay White and Finn Balor, which, uh, that should be, should be really fun to see how that one plays out.